Welcome, my name is Max Rohr and I'm the Rehow Academy Manager for North America. In this webinar, I will cover the findings of a time and motion study that was conducted by the Home Innovation Research Labs. The topic is a comparison of plumbing systems in a commercial installation setting. When Rehow designed the Everlock Plus compression sleeve fitting system, our intent was to make it fast. We wanted to ensure a fair comparison of our system against other competitors, so we commissioned a third party in the Home Innovation Research Labs to do a time and motion study for us. In the study, four different plumbing systems were compared side by side. First was the Rehau Pex A plumbing system comprised of Raupex pipe and the Everlock Plus compression sleeve fitting system. For sake of time in the presentation, I'll just refer to this as Rehau. The second was Pex A piping with cold expansion fittings. I'll refer to that as cold expansion. The third was copper piping with solder fittings, just copper solder for short. Copper piping with press fittings is our fourth, so copper press. A structure was built based on the plans for a hotel using light gauge steel framing. Each of the four mirror installations with the different plumbing systems was comprised of two inch through half inch fittings. The results of the study show that the Rayhaus system was the fastest with the least time required to install and pressure test the plumbing system. In this presentation, I'll break down the individual portions of the study to show the full criteria of the testing conducted. In summary, the Rayhaus system on the bottom of the slide was 21% faster than the next closest system, which was the PEXA cold expansion. Third place was the copper press. Fourth was copper solder fittings, which took about three times more time than the Rayhaus system. The goal of the study was to see how the four different systems compare when we have the same contractors use them in the exact same installation arrangement. Just like a common commercial installation of this type, we included risers and pipe diameters all the way up to two inch. The lab measured the time spent preparing and installing the plumbing system. For example, cutting, measuring, assembling in very specific details all the way throughout the day. For the systems that were new to the contractors, training was provided before the clock started to make sure that all of the installers knew how to use the tools before having to learn while the time was already going. This is a picture of the structure that was created to do the installations inside of. So again, it was made to mirror a hotel set of plans with four guest suites and a hallway for the mains to run down the middle of. The structure was built with steel framing with nine foot ceilings and a 12 inch chase for the pipe runs in the hallways. The guest rooms contained toilets, tubs, two sinks and a kitchenette, again to up the amount of fixtures that were used in each unit. Hot, cold, and recirc lines were installed in the, the mains in the hallway, and main fasteners and supports weren't really part of the study, so the, the scope was to do the connections, but not necessarily to secure everything as you would in a normal hotel installation. To keep track of the installation timing, the Home Innovation Research Labs used a group timing technique. Basically, the researcher would log the specific activity installer was doing every 60 seconds throughout the day, Lunch breaks and non-working time were tracked and separated from the installation times. Installation times did include prep and material handling time, so if you were sanding the copper or applying the flux or something like that, that was counted. The installers that were selected are from a Washington, D.C. area mechanical contracting company. The two installers had the most experience using CPVC, followed by copper solder, and then PEXA cold expansion. They had never used the Rayhau compression sleeve system or worked with copper press before. Here is the floor plan of the structure that was assembled for the test. You can see each of the eight units has a tub, three sinks, and a toilet. To keep things fair to each system installed, the contractors predetermined the general pipe routing, fixture locations, and everything before they were on the official clock. This avoided adding a learning curve for the first material that was used to figure out the routing while the timer was running. All the tools and materials were on the same table next to the structure, so there also wasn't a bias if you had to run to the truck to grab a fitting or anything like that. For the schedule of events for the two PEX-A systems, on day one, installer one used the Rayhau system on one half of the mock-up building, and the other installer used the PEX-A with cold expansion on the other half. They rotated on day two, so each installer had an opportunity to do half of the building with one fitting system, but they rotated in between just so they wouldn't 
have the bias of doing the whole thing first and then repeating it with a second system. For the copper, they work together as a team. So it, this is how they would traditionally install the copper system where one person was doing either the soldering or pressing the fittings together and the other person prepped the pieces and handed them up the ladder. Both of the installers were using the Rayhouse system for the first time. The contractors used both of the tools available, the Everlock Plus power tool for connections up to one inch and the Everlock Plus XL power tool for pipe sizes inch and a quarter, inch and a half, and two inch. For both of the PEX-A installation systems, the riser and main connections were made on the floor when possible, and then the lightweight material was lifted into place once completed. As was normal for the contractors to reduce the amount of time making connections on the ladders, 158 connections were made on each half, so the four units and then the other four units as well. The Rayhaus system passed the pressure test of 60 PSI on the first try. Here are a few photos of the Rayhaus system. So on the top left, you can see the fitting connections and reducing down to the smaller diameters to go into each unit. The photo on the right shows the mains running down the hallway. Again, this study didn't incorporate actually securing and hanging these to code. It was really just to make all of the connections and those would be part of the later steps that wouldn't be as different. So that wasn't part of the, the scope of this study. For the PEX-A with cold expansion fitting installation, the contractors were familiar with the tool that was used to make connections up to one inch. They were using the larger diameter tool for the first time. In total, they had 155 connections on each half of the installation, and this system also passed the pressure test on the first attempt. Here are a few photos of the cold expansion with PEX-A system. For the copper sweat portion of the installation, one contractor soldered while the other prepped the pipe and the fittings and handed them up the ladder. They had a total of 166 connections on the one side. Um, because of the rigid material, they weren't able to navigate around different bends and things like that. They had to use a, a few more fittings because they were working in straight lines compared to the flexibility of the PEX-A products. This system also held pressure on the first test after they finished the installation. Here are a few photos of the copper solder installation. So more of those fittings had to be assembled in place in the chase above the hallway because of the weight of the material, where with the two PEX-A systems installed, they were lighter, so some of the, the fittings were made on the ground when possible, and then big parts of the main were lifted into place afterwards. For the copper press version of the installation, both of the contractors were new to this system. So they had time to practice using the tools on all the different diameters before the official start of the installation to make sure there wasn't a learning curve there. The assembly process was the same as the copper solder, having one person prep the fittings and the pipe and cut it and hand it up to the person who was doing the press portion. As with the copper sweat, 166 connections were made on the one half of the system. The initial pressure test did fail but they found that two joints had not been pressed. After they pressed those, the system did hold pressure. Here are a few more photos of the press system going together. For more background on the timing method, the researchers observed and marked every 60 seconds what the installers were doing. There were 12 predetermined categories that I'll list on the next slide. Here are the different activities that the observers were keeping track of when the installers were working on the system. So the categories on the left were added to the installation time. The categories on the right were not included. So if they were waiting for a coworker or if they didn't do something right and had to rework it or anything else that wasn't related to the installation of the fitting, those were quantified, but they weren't used in the total comparison in the final results. Here are the time results for the total installation, just including the productive time. So the Rayhouse system came in first, was the fastest. The PEX-A with cold expansion was second. Copper press was third. And last was the copper solder. The installers noted that the Rayhouse system was faster with the larger diameter than the PEX-A with cold expansion, which is why it was a little bit faster overall. The copper press was faster than the copper solder, mainly because of the reduced time to prep the fittings without having to add the flux, for example.
If we break down the results for just the hallway portion of the system where all the pipe was inch and a quarter or larger in diameter, the Rayhouse system was the fastest to complete these fittings. Second place was the copper press. Third was the PEXA cold expansion, which requires more expansions per fitting than the Rayhouse system. And fourth was the copper solder, which again had the additional steps of the flux and the fitting prep, which added to the time. When you look at just the guest room part of the installation and exclude the hallway, the PEXA with cold expansion was the fastest. About 3% slower than that was the Rayhouse system. Copper press was third, and copper solder was a close fourth since the fittings were smaller and easier to heat than in the hallway with the large diameter. As a completely separate study from the time work study, the two PEX-A systems were used to assemble a small trunk and branch in cold conditions. So they have a small room that they can condition to 33 degrees Fahrenheit at this lab, and a simple piping structure was assembled. This photo shows what they built with the Rayhouse system. They also built the same thing with the PEX-A and cold expansion fitting system. The Rayhouse system requires two expansions and one compression per fitting to complete the installation, where the PEXA with cold expansion fitting system requires more expansions per fitting if the temperature is lower. So you can see on the chart on the top, the Rayhouse system was the exact same amount of time in both room temperature conditions as well as the near freezing temperatures, where the PEXA with cold expansion jumps about 35% when you go to the colder conditions. The lab did not have a room big enough to do the entire hotel installation at 33 degrees Fahrenheit. So what they did is they extrapolated the amount of extra time, the 35% time penalty with the PEXA with cold expansion fitting to the entire job site. So if you did that entire hotel with the low temperatures, it would have added about 42 man minutes to the entire installation. In this instance, according to the Home Innovation Research Labs. Next, a pressure test was conducted on these two systems that were assembled in the cold room. The Rayhouse system passed on the first pressure test at 60 PSI. The cold expansion system failed the first pressure test at multiple points. This system relies on the memory of the PEXA and the sleeve to shrink back down on the single ceiling edge of the fitting, and that doesn't happen immediately. The process is slower when the PEXA is cold compared to the Rayhouse system where you compress the sleeve over the ceiling edges and the temperature doesn't matter. Over time, more of the cold expansion fittings began to seal and hold pressure, except for one which didn't until it was removed from the cold room. That one specific leaky connection was eventually written off as an installer error because the fitting wasn't properly placed on the single ceiling edge. After the installation, the installing contractors were interviewed to ask about their work experiences. Here are a few of their observations. The study was designed to be as similar to a normal working day in a commercial setting as possible. Based solely on the preferences of these two contractors that did the installation, they were not partial to the copper solder for the reasons listed on the slide. Of the two copper systems, the installers preferred the press fittings. They said it was cleaner and faster without a fire hazard because they didn't have an open flame. They did miss a couple of the connections when they did the pressure test, so they had to go back and press those in order for it to hold pressure. The Rayhouse system, comprised of the Raupex pipe and the Everlock Plus compression sleeve fittings, was the preferred method for the installers. They had the most trust that it would be fast as well as reliable with the combination of the PEXA pipe and the Everlock Plus power tools. The installers also liked the PEXA with cold expansion fitting system. The downside was the wait time for the pipe to shrink back down over the fitting and form a seal. They also mentioned that there was a great difference in the cold weather installation versus the room temperature system. Here are the final remarks that the installers had after finishing the study. Overall, they thought the time study was a realistic one, reflective of what they do in the field. They did not do any of the bracing or hangers that they usually do to support the pipe. That is the end of the summarized results of the Home Innovation Research Lab's findings for this study. The next few slides will break down the actual installation time details in the man minutes that were used to make the final calculations. The installers measured everything but only counted the productive time in the totals. 
So the sum below is from the tasks obtaining the pipe, measuring and cutting, placing, obtaining and prepping the fittings, and expanding and attaching the fittings, but things like rework were not counted in that total. For the copper materials, measuring, cutting, and prepping took a lot of additional time compared to the two different PEX-A versions of the system installation. This graph shows the results for just the hallway portion of the installation, so this would have been mainly the large diameter fittings, inch and a quarter through two inch. The connection speed of the Rayhouse system and the copper press system were the leaders in these categories. Separating the guest room portion, which would have been the smaller diameter fittings, basically an inch all the way down to the half inch terminations for each of the fixtures. The race was close with the Pexa cold expansion fittings winning by a nose a little bit faster, about 3% than the Rayhouse system. Again, the prepping part of the copper system hurt their overall time. To recap the findings of the entire study, the Rayhau Pex A plumbing system comprised of Rau Pex pipe and Everlock Plus compression sleeve fittings was the fastest, with the least time required to install and pressure test the plumbing system. Even in the cold conditions, when you extrapolated the results there, they were even more favorable for the Rayhau system. All of the systems will work properly, but for an installer to make the most out of their time on a job site, the Rayhouse system did show to be favorable in the conditions measured in this study.